Let's talk about volume. Volume is a measure of the amount of space contained within a shape or how many unit cubes it can hold. Now you might think about uh, volume only for three-dimensional shapes. So three-dimensional shapes should pop into your head when you're thinking about the concept of volume. And that's because only 3D shapes have volume. This happens because of the dimensions. A 3D shape has length, width, and height, which means it can hold stuff inside of it. Take a look at this rectangular prism over here. You've got different dimensions, right? Three of them listed. And if you wanted to find the volume of this, you would multiply the area of the base times the height. Now, since the base of a rectangular prism is a rectangle or a square, right? The area of the base becomes the formula for the area of a rectangle a rectangle or a square. So you would just have area of the base equals the length times the width, right? And then you would multiply this by the height. So this means the volume of a prism is length times width times height. So if we wanted to find the volume of this prism shown, we have a length equal to 2 right here, right? We have a width equal to 5, and that's this measurement going back, and we have a height going up of 3. So substitute these values into the formula. You have uh, 2 times 5 times 3. And this is all in feet, so we'll keep these uh, units in mind when we get to the end. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 3 equals 30. So this is 30 feet cubed, or 30 cubic feet. That's the volume of this rectangular prism. Let's try another problem together. Jim has two cardboard boxes. Each box has a width of 5 feet and a height of 3 feet. If one box has a length of 2 feet and the other has a length of 4 feet, what is the total volume of both boxes? So since you're looking for the total volume, you want to find the volume of the first box and the volume of the second box and then combine it. There's something interesting about this problem though. As you can see in the diagram, the height is the same for both boxes. They're both three feet tall. The width here is the same, right? They're both five feet wide. The only difference between these two boxes is the measurement for the length. One is two feet and one is four feet. Now you can do this problem by f using the volume formula twice, right? You could, let's just call this box number one and this is box number two. You can come over here and you could do volume equals length times width times height, solve that. You could do the same thing over here and then you could add these two values together, right? So whatever you get for box one, add it to the amount you get for box two. However, because the dimensions for the height and width of these two boxes is the same, you can think about this as a problem of a composite prism. So what you have here is the composite prism. All you do is you take these two boxes and push them together. So what happens now? The two lengths line up along the front edge here. So what you want to do is add the two values to find the total length of this composite prism. So this is a total of 6 feet long, 5 feet wide, and 3 feet high. So now we only have to apply the volume formula once because we've made this a composite prism. So the length is 6, the width is 5, and the height is 3. 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 times 3 equals 90. This is in feet, so you put your units, and cubed since we're talking about volume. Now, if you had done the original way that I talked about, right? So if you'd gone over here to box one and box two and found the volume separately, you would have found that you got 30 and 60, and this is feet cubed in both instances. So you get the same value, right? When you add those together, 30 plus 60 is 90, and you got 90 when you made a composite figure. Although there's something interesting to note. The difference between box one and box two is that the length of box two is doubled, right? Two feet times two equals four feet. What happens when the length is doubled and all the other dimensions stay the same? When the length is two, the volume is 30. When the length is doubled, the volume is doubled. See, 30 times two is 60. So doubling one of the one of the dimensions doubles the volume of the entire figure. In this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about volume. Thanks for watching.